What's up? How's it going? How are you doing? How's the wife? Great. Do you ever have one of those moments where you're sitting there minding your own business when suddenly, out of nowhere, you're struck with a random deep memory of a TV show you used to watch when you were 10 that you'd completely forgotten about? No? Cool. Well I did, so we're going to make a video on it. So today we're going to be watching the greatest show you've never heard of. That's right. Monster Warriors. Don't know what Monster Warriors is? Don't worry, I'd completely forgotten too. Now before we actually watch this show, I feel like it's important to give the little bit of context that I can actually give. So let's just go through what I can actually remember about the show. I remember it was on the channel Jetix back in the day when I was like 10. It was about teenagers that fought giant monsters and dinosaurs and other stuff presumably. I remember having state-of-the-art special effects. I was blown away. Jurassic Park who? Avengers Endgame what? Nah, it's all about this baby. So, without further ado, let's check out the first episode of Monster Warriors. I'm Ding Dorman. What? I'm Ding Dorman. D Ding Dorman? I'm Ding Dorman. Whatever, man. So. <sighs> Ding Dorman's top breaking news story of the day is. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. Another calm, peaceful day in this town of ours. Cool, thanks for that. <laughs> Feels like that should have been the story. I need to harness the power of the cosmos. Okay, uh, where do we start? Uh, bathroom fixtures and electrical? Exactly. Okay, so I guess this guy is some sort of evil scientist who's going to create the monsters or something. Ah, my old movie studios. What? The great Klaus von Steinauer is back and he's going to bring all of his old movies back to life. <laughs> cool. Why? Soon, the capital city will know what revenge is all about. <laughs> okay, so while this German scientist slash movie producer works on his revenge plan, why not take a moment to like the video and subscribe? I've got loads of other TV shows that somehow only I remember. And you know what? I'm feeling optimistic. If we can get five likes on this video, I'll watch another show. I'm shooting for the stars, I know, but you know what? I believe in you. Anyway, let's get back to this guy's evil plan, or whatever. We interrupt this program to bring you a special CCTN news report. Great, another one. Hope it's as exciting as the last one. Let's build Capital City into the So now we meet our first main character, Antonio, who is... Ah. Uh... What did you do, my little friend? You are not in fact the instigator of any unusual or untoward behavior. And yet for some reason people are actually afraid of you. 99% of all spiders can't even hurt human beings, and yet for some reason... Do you always talk to bugs? Oh, fucking hell. I'm, I'm an exchange student. Um, oh, you're a foreign exchange student. How did I not tell from that thick accent? We cut this piece out and we use it. <laughs> I just know how to build stuff. It's one of those things. Jesus, does no one know how to enter a room normally at this school? Ever read the school manual? Regulation 2174. Well, someone could always take it from you. Like... In seconds. You must be the magician by novel. Yeah, and aren't we supposed to be four? We are. I beg, please, someone just enter a room normally. Okay, so just so we're all clear, we have Vanka, Tabby, Luke, Antonio. Everyone got that? Okay, good. So, in the next scene, Tabby goes to visit her father. Hey, Daddy. At least I really hope that's her father. Ew, what is that? Yeah. Strange, isn't it? 
Picked that up last night when we were fighting the dump fire. It, it's silly string. Sticky. Good luck with that. It's silly string. Just wipe it off. Would you be out late? I won't. Don't worry about it. I mean it. See ya. Science. Now this I can deal with. This is CCTN. We've been receiving farmers' reports of strange mucus-like substances covering nearby trees. It's fucking silly string. Spider webbing. Uh, unnaturally magnified in size, but. That's what it looks like. Antonio, fuck you, man. Well, we are supposed to be doing a project on spiders. So we take a little drive. Now this is a car. What's wrong? It's just the feeling I have. It's weird, but it's like somehow things aren't right here in Capital City. So. The gang go to investigate the spider webs in the forest. Luke, are we totally lost? Yeah, I'm afraid we are. Uh oh. All right, so I'm skipping through this next part because uh, it's not in, it's not important at all. Basically, the car breaks down and they get it immediately fixed within like five seconds. It's entirely pointless. I don't know why they have. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no. That is a really big bug. It's not a bug, it's an arachnid. Get under the car! Or, you know, just drive. Drive away. That's it, Bunker. I need a diversion. Not a problem. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but I, I probably shouldn't roll off right now. Wanna bet? No, what I mean to say is spiders react primarily to movement and any adjustment in their field of vision, so any motion right now would be imprudent. So, after that scene, the white ones enact their plan to get back in the car and drive away. Ah, genius. The next day, the gang go to visit a local pervert. in the hopes that he can tell them more about the monster. Listen, Krieger, we just had to fight off a 15-foot spider that looks exactly like the one in your window. We need information, not nerd history. Okay, I can dig that. The Pacifier starring Vin Diesel on DVD. I think we need to see this movie. Run, take the babies, go to your rooms. I just can't believe these movies were ever popular. These weapons make no sense whatsoever. The science doesn't either. Except that it all makes sense. Doesn't it seem like this entire movie has come to life? <laughs> Crazy as it sounds, I think it's got something to do with that old guy who escaped from Shady Pass Rest Home. Impossible. You're insane. I've adapted these vacuums into a form of laser weapon that should be able to stop most things in their tracks. I've also adapted these, which look like strainers, but the glue line that I've inserted should... Should what? Tabitha! Hi. Dad, you're Wait. waking up. You're where? Industrial wasteland. I can't hear what he's saying, but it sounds like there's a huge fire in industrial wastelands. Dad? Are you... Dad? Line's gone. It sounds bad. Oh no. Is your father okay, friend? Worse than bad. Worse than bad. Look. What did you say about the movie somehow coming to life? <laughs> oh 
Ho, oh, we all know who those belong to. Dad! Hey, Dad again. I'm just wondering what you're going to want for dinner. Uh, where, where are you? What do you mean, where am I? I'm at home, of course. At home, but... He's my day, remember? Luke, it's a trap. They were going so fast that the world around them still has motion blur. So, the gang rock up to finally defeat the monster. Something big's coming? How much bigger? Well, it depends on which spider you mean. Oh shit, two spiders. I don't care. Why pretend? All right, look, I'm going to be honest. I'm starting to lose interest at this point. They shoot the spiders for like two minutes straight. Eventually the spiders just sort of die. You want to watch it, watch the episode. I don't care. Seriously, what is going on here? And who made that call to me as my dad? I don't know. But I think we're facing something Capital City's never seen before. Yeah, thanks, ma'am. All Capital City citizens owe their lives today to four unnamed teenagers. Sack your photographer, man. Other sources are saying that they saved us from something described as really big spiders. <laughs> Just who these heroes of Capital City are, we don't know yet. But we're working on it. In an unrelated story, Shady Pass Rest Home has finally released the name of this missing man. In his 80s, this senior citizen of Capital City and ex-monster movie producer has been missing for the last 48 hours. Ooh, what a cliffhanger. All right, so that was the first episode of Monster Warriors. Now, we need to ask the question, was this exercise actually worth it? No. All jokes aside, the show was actually surprisingly entertaining, and it does seem to at least somewhat be in on the joke. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll watch another episode in the video. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I return to my slumber. Good night.